Just wanted to do a quick update on the tomatoes here in the aeroponic buckets. They're going like gangbusters. I just have two 50 watt LED full spectrum lights and you know, that's all, that's all I need. So let's check out uh, how the fruiting's going and how the growing's going with these uh, two different types of tomatoes. So here's the yellow pear tomato. You can see got lots of nice flowers coming out here. I've been picking off all of the growth as it comes to focus into the main stem here. You can see I got a bunch more flowers coming out here. These ones here, daily I come and give them a little wiggle, but you can see They've all flowered and now they're turning into tomatoes. Oh, there's the first tomato right there. You can see it coming out. So that's great to see, love it. And then there's even more down here. So these will be popping into tomatoes. You can see this one here is, yep, yeah, coming out as a tomato. So that was the first and then this came the second and then the third. And here comes the fourth right here now. So really important to keep pruning them nicely. I'm growing them tied up with the string trellis. You can see my tomato video for that. And it just simply allows me to get a little bit of space between the two plants here. I'm about to trim some of this greenery just so they're not as overlapping. Over here on my other cherry tomato, this will be a red cherry tomato. Uh, you can see there's lots of flowers coming out here, looking really good. And these here, got quite a few flowers already. Yeah, this one's looking beautiful. And, and so this is the first flower set here and the second flower set. You can see I'm getting some suckers in between here. It's really important to pull these off. Uh, sometimes I just pull them off at this size, which I'll do right now. Sometimes I let them grow a bit, like the ones that I have already set aside in a little cup of water that I'm sprouting for the next batch. You can see some more suckers here. I just like to pull them off and that will create more flowers and more fruit versus just growing a bunch of more stems and plant and leaves. So I'm really happy with the way the tomatoes are growing and how well these aeroponic buckets are going. I'll give you a quick peek at the roots and we can have a look. So here's our yellow pear tomato. It's got a nice thick stem. You can see this is the original stem and then the growth has really exploded here. Compare it to this one that I grew from seed and the stalk is nice and thick, you can see. So I'll just do a quick pull up of the lid here, see if I can do it with one hand, and look at those beautiful roots growing in there. I'll probably trim a bunch up, but uh, yeah, that's pretty nice looking, nice and white and healthy. Lots of hairs on those. And then here's the cherry tomato. See if I can pull it up with one hand. Again, tons of great roots growing down. I'll trim the bottom of those up a little bit. And it's beautiful. Super simple and easy. I just add water once every week and a half and I'm literally running 100 watts of full spectrum light. So, you know, it costs maybe $4 maybe five dollars a month to run these lights and i'm growing tomatoes right in my home office if you want to see how i put these aeroponic buckets together i'll leave a link in the comments section below and while you're down there smash the like button if you got anything out of this help support the channel and subscribe if you want to see some more projects that we do here at small scale gardener